Hello guys, so we are with my friend Tu right now. She is from Vietnam and she has a powerful testimony about how the Lord revealed himself to her through a dream when she was nine years old. And um, in the country that she's from, uh, she'll explain a little bit about it, but they did not know Jesus at all. There was no, no relation to Christianity and the Lord still provided a way to show himself to her. So explain a little bit about you growing up and your family life. So I was born in Vietnam in Ho Chi Minh City and my family, we all immigrated to the US when I was about five to Richmond, Virginia. Um, and I was with four other families of mine, my cousins and my aunts and uncles. And then we moved to the Northern Virginia area when I was around seven, eight to nine. Um, but growing up, I was I was raised in Buddhist, the religion of Buddhism, and they took me, my parents and my grandparents, they always took me to the temples, and we would have this chant that we would always say, um, and they would have idols all around, these statues and incense and, and necklaces, this Buddha necklace, and um, I... I was confused because I thought this is a man, but I, I always prayed to something out there because I wasn't sure about this religion because I always saw some sort of hypocrisy uh, in my family. Like they were good at the temple and then there was brokenness and violence and oppression and poverty at home. So basically you are praying to God without really knowing him. Yeah. Knowing was, which God. Yes, so I was always crying out about my situation because at home during this time, it wasn't a great situation for me because we, my parents had to work every day because we couldn't provide for the house. And it was a really hard time um, and there was neglect and some abuse in there because of the curses in my family and God revealed that to me later. But when I was nine, one day after praying um, with my Buddha necklace on and I wasn't sure if I was praying to the Buddha, I went to bed and I had a dream. And this dream, I was walking and the earth started to shake and I was in a setting like New York. And then in an instant, people were lifted to the sky. It was like light, it was quick light. And then they just went up all at once. And then something, there was a loud thundering sound and something was torn. And then the sky just became completely dark, completely dark and desolate after that. And I woke up and I didn't, I hadn't ever heard about Jesus or what a Christian was during this time. So I was really, I was panting and I was panicking and I was afraid, but then I felt the presence of God just invade in my room. and. During this time, there were spirits, there were demonic dark spirits that were haunting me um, because of the open doors in my family. And I had gotten attacked through nightmares and I saw shadowy dark spirits all around my household. But this presence was different. I just, I knew it was different because it felt calm and it was peaceful and it was loving. And I just, I still didn't understand, but I knew it was something powerful but then a week later I I saw a picture of Jesus on the wall and God just suddenly revealed to me this is who you've been praying to I'm God I'm oh. God this is who you've been praying to and my family had never heard about Jesus we came from completely just filled with Buddhism all these statues and everything and God took me out of that my parents, they fought a lot and um, they got divorced when I was around 13. And before that time, I wasn't able to go to church because my parents didn't believe in that stuff and, and they just couldn't take me because they worked every day. But then my mother, she moved into a house that was right next to a little Methodist church. So I was able to walk there every day and just do some service or just go to church and learn more about Jesus. And here I am, he's nurtured to my growth mm -hmm. since then. And it's been a really hard journey through all of the, those hard times, but 
here I am and I'm standing stronger in Christ than ever before and I'm, and then, I'm and still then. walking. There's so much for me to learn. That's yeah. powerful. That's very powerful. And um, we were talking before and I was saying about how a lot of people, they don't believe that people can accept Jesus without someone being there to preach it to them. And um, basically this is proof that the Lord can will provide a way to those who truly hunger and search after God, no matter where they are. So that's a powerful testimony. Thank you.